You have a lot of people in New World looking here at a forum post that says the game needs a PvP enabled zone. And I've read some posts and I've talked with other streamers and you know streaming chats and I've listened to other streamers all say maybe the pretty much the same thing that either their PvP either their server is dead or dying, there's nothing really going on. Some people still have PvP on their servers, and some people say, well, you know, maybe they can incentivize people to flag. And incentivizing PvP doesn't work. Because at the core of PvP is competition. And what you have to understand is you can't incentivize people to be competitive. You can't. There's no you you, you have to have a competitive spirit to want to compete and so for a lot of these individuals who are like well maybe we can maybe we can offer this right maybe we'll put like skins or maybe we'll give like better xp we'll give better tokens we'll do this right whatever this is and the problem is is that it doesn't work you can't incentivize these people because they're not competitive and at the end of the day it will only feel like you're forcing them to try to do something that they can't compete in that's just the reality they're not competitive by nature at the very least when it comes to mmos and pvp they'd rather walk around kill the same mobs over and over and over again uh, role play and that sort of like and so that's why i said in my other video is that the, the two schools of thought you cannot interact you cannot have these people interact even in pve because maybe you want leaderboards right maybe you want to put like end game raids and you want to have like leaderboards and at the end of the leaderboards you get skin eso tried to do this exact same thing the elder scrolls online tried to do the same thing from a pve standpoint i'm not even talking about pvp the elder scrolls online even tried to have end game leaderboards and it was so toxic you know there was so many of these people that were like i just want to i just want to build my house and make it nice and cool looking i just want to role play and i want to role play in in one of the random bars and so the developers would put a lot of this content and of course there's dps checks there's healing checks etc and when these individuals couldn't make it they couldn't hack it so to speak they would complain why because what you do is you, in essence, you want to give, it's not just that you, it's not just that these people want to compete, but of course, maybe they're skins, maybe it's just a simple achievement, right? But maybe there's like some, maybe a gear that's a little slightly better, you know, a lot of times it's not like stuff that completely breaks the game, but you give something as an as a reward for for a completion. And so when those individuals can't do what those individuals can, well, then those individuals will just complain and they'll say that it's not fair, that I paid for this content and you're you're keeping me from it. it it's not fair that, you know, you should give all the content on easy mode, etc. You should be able to have all of the rewards uh, should be freely accessible to me. And you read this in many of the sections where people are like, well, why don't we have PVP enabled zones? And you read the chat and they say the exact same thing here in the New World forums. And they're like, well, that means I can't go to those zones. And you're keeping me from going to those zones. And that's part of the game that I paid for, etc. And this will be the narrative forever. And that's why I said in my original video that the only thing that's going to happen is the PVPers are just going to end up leaving. And what you're going to be left over with is some mediocre game that just kind of focuses on skins and housing and and other nonsense like that, and it's going to provide some mediocre content, pretty much like what the Elder Scrolls Online does. It provides nothing good in the form of PvE. It has never looked back at their PvP once their PvP community up and left because the lag, the game lagged to shit after the lighting patch, and then the game really wasn't uh, any better. And, the, and then what you end up with is an MMO that's subpar and that's basically where we're at when it comes to new world there's a lot of different threads talking about maybe we just need maybe give me a little bit more experience 10 percent experience is nothing and if you were to increase it if you were to give more of whatever eso tried this eso did this eso at one point they we used to have just one server and so whoever controlled the server in Cyrodiil, right, which was the PvP portion of the game, so everybody fought for all of the castles. When you controlled the castles, you controlled the Emperorship, whatever side, because it was a three-war faction, so whatever side controlled uh, Cyrodiil in terms of the castle keeps, and whoever was crowned Emperor, that side had a little bit bonus in the PvE portion of the game. And it wasn't even anything 
drastic. It was like a little bit more gold when you killed mobs, when you opened up treasure chests. Maybe you got a little bit more of whatever the renewable mats were, consumable mats. And that was it. It wasn't anything like unbelievably game breaking, but people still complained that it wasn't fair, that they were being forced to PvP because they were now missing out on the reward. And this is this is indicative of people, right? This feels very much like real life. Then this real life impacts developing studios when they allow it to. When you listen to this very small but very vocal community, this is what happens. Everything woke turns to shit. And New World will not be any different. And so ESO tried it. They basically uh, created multiple servers. And then each each group, each one of the factions then had their own sort of server that just existed as a buff server. And then there was a fourth server where everybody PvP'd on. And then whenever another faction would go to their buff server, they would sit there and complain on the forums that they had to go back and retake their buffs. And so eventually the developers stopped uh, stopped it all together. They removed all of the buffs all entirely and it was completely ruined. Why? Because of the small minority. A very a very similar thing happened with ESO and the justice system. At one point, there was supposed to be implemented a justice system in the game. And it was supposed to be revolving around the, the thief. Um, I forgot the name of the expansion. It was like the Thieves Guild expansion where you could role play as a thief. There was like a whole uh, skill tree line. There was a whole story behind the Thieves Guild. And so it allowed you to go and rob NPCs, etc. Now, the justice system of the game was that players, if you got caught robbing or killing one of the NPCs by a player, then the player could attack you in town. And oh my God, the PVEers lost their shit. They were like, what? There are going to be consequences? That's not fair. We're going to be griefed. And so what did ESO do? They scrapped the entire system altogether and never made it to live because of listening what could have been Beautiful, a beautiful system with role playing because what's the point of having a reward if there's no risk? What's the point of having a reward if there's no risk? And so these individuals very much want to bring how they feel in real life that everything should be handed to them and they should work for nothing and into video games. And when that sort of mindset comes into video games, you get new world, mediocre at best, buggy, no direction. Uh, constant people complaining of things being broken. Uh, I mean, what's going to happen? I mean, most people nowadays are just waiting for server transfers. And in my opinion, because there's so many players that want to move their servers, it's going to be a complete debacle. What are they going to do about housing? What are they going to do about uh, people who have worked for and, and own you know, the different towns, etc.? How is that going to work out? It's going to be a complete nightmare. It's going to be a complete clusterfuck. And it's going to be posted on the forums but you read any of these things any of the anything that's that's related to here you go see pvp forced servers would be even better this is what people want there's a lot of people that want these sort of pvp servers like we want they imagine that it's your pvp is just a small minority and the reality is that it's not true there are so many threads talking about pvp and it's literally the same people complaining about you're forcing me to pvp and again, see, it says it says servers, but if they don't want to split the game into two server types, it says I can get that. However, then I definitely think it needs something like this. And I do. I think they should move these people over to a completely another server and then just fix griefing. What they did was a lazy fix in relation to griefing. All you have to do is put in a justice system and voila, griefing system, you know, griefing has a penalty. And that's the problem. There, there was there was the reward of the the trolls that wanna that wanna grief players, but on this side there was no penalty, and that was very much what happened in ESO's. Um, oh my god, I forgot the name of the other place. They had this other little portion of the map, but it was the exact same thing. It had all it had all reward, and no risk. And so what happened? It completely got ruined. It completely got ruined, and that was and that's typically the lack of imagination from individuals who don't know how to create good quality PvP. But I have no doubt moving forward that with the amount of people that want to leave that want to leave and go to where the PvP is at, 
the LARPers are going to complain, and it's going to be a it's going to be a disaster. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do, but moving forward, I I do not perceive this game going past three months. I don't perceive the amount of people that are that are playing now playing in three months, and with the amount of stuff that needs to be fixed to make the game viable for either PVE or PVP, there's just too much stuff that needs to be fixed. And in my opinion, uh, this game will go the route of Crucible and will be dead in six months.